Hello guys, my name is Rob and welcome for another video on the Nasron restoration. Today I'm going to show you how I made the holes in the base of the cradle and also explain the reason why the holes are there. Enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe for more. I hope you can see it. Uh, this is what they call a magnetic drill. Uh, there's a big electric magnet in the, in the base of this. And on the other side uh, there's a button you can turn on the, the magnet and therefore uh, yeah, drilling, this is a small hole, but drilling bigger holes in steel uh, parts like this that's too big for lifting on a drill press, it makes it easier yeah, to get holes drilled in it. Um, we bought this uh, second hand and uh, yeah, for us it's more than good enough it's uh, for this uh, for the twist drill up to 32 millimeters and for uh, core drills is up to 100 millimeters uh, yeah this hole needs to be 110 so it's still a bit big but i will do that with uh, plasma cutter and yeah well for us it's a great tool to have for machines like this Hello guys, um, I drilled some of the holes, uh, some still need to be drilled bigger. Just to give you an idea uh, where the holes are for, uh, obviously bolt holes. But because you have two plates, one on top, one on the bottom. And if you put a bolt completely through, uh, you can flatten the piece, change the dimension. So they welded tubes inside, uh, more or less they stick out like this. Welded around on both sides. And then you have a lot stronger piece. Um, yeah, these still need to be shortened, of course, but that's one thing. Um, this hole will be below the bottom on the inside, probably. So I have to check that. And that means that I need a threaded nut on the inside welded. Otherwise, uh, of course, the bolt won't hold. You can't uh, reach the inside uh, for putting a nut on. On this side I've got the holes in, plus the tubes are already tack welded in. Uh, these two will be uh, only tapped, because it's only for a small bracket for protecting the gear that's underneath. This one the drive goes through for elevation and the three bolt holes. I'm not sure for which this is, but these two are for holding the shield. This is also very unclear, there are two of these on the other side, but we don't know for what reason. And this is also for holding a bracket, uh, I think it's for the, this drive, that it will have a tube here with a bracket. And it's a good thing that the, open, that the top is still open. Because I could get rid of the metal shaving from drilling and uh, the slack from cutting the two holes. Cut uh, most holes in it now. This plate is uh, double as you can see. I tack welded it on the base itself so that all the holes will line up. 
it's very difficult if you mark it by hand and drill it to line every hole up so best is to do it in one go as you, if you can uh, the top plate needs smaller holes so I will cut this off and leave the bottom one that will be welded permanently to the base and then drill the other holes there will be a tube going in an angle like this through this plate and that's for the traverse so for the uh, handle for traversing <coughs> finished uh, drilling the holes and you can see the tubes are in these one will be ground flush uh, because there's not a plate coming on top and the rest will be more or less like that and you can see this one it has a bit of a gap around from plasma cutting because I didn't use a template or so it's a very small hole but so I'm welding those first the, the gaps and when the gaps are full then uh, I can finish weld it I'm another step closer to being finished the tubes are in well most of them finished welded cleaned on this side this plate needs uh, to have an oval hole and from this end there will be a tube going through with the handle for uh, the traverse mechanism for driving it you see this hole with a big tube need also one here but it's very difficult to measure at the pack 43 that we are using for example so that's a bit tricky uh, this is the flange that bolts onto it and here you can see on the drawing the tube going through and it will be at an angle of 160 degrees so this is the tube and this is the flange that I will use this one to bolt on the frame and then the 160 degrees and another part is this plate that will sit on this one on the side but it needs the oval hole in it for the tube to go through uh, in an angle I will do, do this with the plasma cutter and in the part itself it also needs that hole but uh, since it's a bolt on part that needs to be very precise so it's a lot of work with the die grinder uh, making it fit so I will do the rough cutting with the plasma torch and then uh, finalizing it with the die grinder and it will sit more or less like this in an angle of about 160 degrees and then through this tube uh, the handle for traversing uh, will go the, the shaft for traversing I have cut the oval hole on the outside and now I have to find out where to mark it on the inside because of the angle of course I can do it in the cut program but another way is I tack welded the, the plate on if I hold it like this I know that the wall thickness is about 50 millimeters so that white line uh, is that measurement and then I mark the outside of the hole and then on the inside and I know I have to start 30 millimeters from the front so now I have to start 165 from the front and a distance of 110 but because it goes through on an angle on the outside the hole is on different position as the inside you can see the double lines at the end uh, it will go through in an angle so this would be the inside of the plate so what you see and that would be on the other side the edge if you cut the correct angle and for this it would be also the inside and then 
that the other side of the plate but um, I think it's easier if I cut it straight this where I have the weld I would cut it like here because you can fill up the extra hole that you make the, the extra material you cut away but here it has to go through and it's a bolt on piece so it also needs to come out uh, sometimes so I will cut this line and then grind it with the die grinder till it fits got a little bit further um, it fits now I cut it off because the part that's going through is welded in and I use this threaded rod to make uh, sure that they align enough it doesn't have to be perfect in this tube that sits on the outside like that there will be two bushings and then the rod goes through and in the inner part there are no bushings uh, so that's not a problem if it's not perfectly aligned 